case one when upper half has given means a1 a2 and a has given then we have to find relation between n1 and n2 just will look one example because based on the example understanding will be easy one class is there average age of boys in that class is 20 that is a2 average age of girls in same class it is 16 that is a1 we have understood here a1 is less than a2 and average of class that is total class that is 17.5 that is a means a1 a2 a all three has given this same data we can just write in form of uh, allegation then this will become your average of girls that is your 16 this is your 20 average of boy and uh, total average weighted average is 17.5 just will take the difference in same way then here it will come 20 minus 17.5 that is 2.5 here it will come 17.5 minus 16 that is 1.5 this will be in ratio means n1 by n2 will be equal to ratio always you have to take in same order like this this is your girls number of girls this is your average of girls don't take in reverse way this side this number will give you the ratio of girls to boy if you are taking 2.5 to 1.5 this will give to girl to boy if you are taking 1.5 to 2.5 it will give to boy to girl this order always maintain i am again repeating order always maintain because based on the order many of the students are making the mistake in allegation order be careful girl by girl to boy or boy to girl this which ratio you are considered which ratio you have to find this order always will matter then girl by boy number of uh, number of girls divided by number of boys that ratio will be 5 by 3 